hi guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video um i was just about to upload this video and realized i didn't have an intro to it so i'm quickly recording it now so i'm so sorry for how i look and hair because i haven't combed her hair today good morning but anyway this video is a highly requested video that i've been having um since i uploaded my um travel system unboxing video i've been getting a lot of questions on how i put the car seat in the car without the isofix space um because i don't use it it didn't come with it and i i think you don't really need it but you know some people prefer to have it but so this video um there's two clips they're both the same clips so the first clip is just us well it's alistair putting the car seat in the car without the isofix base and the second clip is exactly the same it's just that it's in slow motion because i was requested when i do this if i can have one normal speed and one in slow-mo but the same clip so i've done that for you guys and then afterwards i have just showing the posture a bit more better than the last video of the unboxing and then just kind of a review on how i like it and stuff like that so yep if there's anything i forgot to mention in this video please why please let me know and i will answer your questions and if you need like another video on something different then please let me know but a lot of people have been asking me to do this so i just had to get it done for you guys but I'm so sorry for how we look again. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you're new here. Join my family and watch us. <laughs>
so please ignore the bins this is the frame of the push jet and this is how it looks because i know in the unboxing video that i done um it wasn't very clear and i've been getting a lot of questions about this kind of push jet because you don't really see much of views on it but this is the frame it's quite big ish and the wheels are quite big as well it didn't come with the cup holder i had to order separately on ebay it didn't come with the pram hooks for the bags either i had to order that off of ebay too but it did come with the rain cover i'm just going to give you a 360 of the push chair while it has the carry cot on it so this is how it looks again it didn't come with the white arctic fox um fur trim i ordered that separately again off of ebay just to make the pram look a bit more stylish and nicer here is what the inside of the push chair looks like please ignore if it looks a bit messy that is the inside and this is what you clip this and this into just to secure them in while they are newborns realistically um you're not actually meant to have this padding thing in it's just meant to be just this but i left this in um while she's a newborn for just the uh, um, sole reason of comfort it's so much comfortable for her to have the padding in it now than just having that back bit this is just meant to be for when they're older but like i said it's a bit more comfortable so i just left it in and she's fine she's absolutely fine so this is what it looks like with the hood all the way up with the zip zipped because i like to unzip it because sometimes when we go on buses or on walks and stuff and i don't want people to really be looking over her i pull it all the way and also because you know it's a bit cold here in london at the moment so that's how it looks when i have this down you can also have this up so let me just plug it in and i'll show you how it looks so this is how it looks when the things are plugged into the sides but like this you can't actually see her because of how small short how small she is um so either when i have her in here i either don't have the hood all the way so that i can see her a bit better or i will take this off and just leave it hanging like you saw in a clip before this so that you can see her but this is how it looks with the hood on i would suggest um ordering the fur trim you can order off amazon off ebay um i think i paid 18 pound for mine and it was in the color arctic fox and it's just really nice it just makes the pram just look all that better but this is how it looks from afar like i said i really like it i've been using it since she was a week old and she is 12 weeks old tomorrow and so far i've had no problems the only problem i've had and wait for the car to go the only problem i've had with this travel system is the fact that on older buses like the old 58 buses and stuff it's hard you can't get it on through the front you have to go in through the back doors but apart from that i've had no problems with this push gel whatsoever like i absolutely love it so here are the front wheels and as you can tell it has the spring thing here i'm so sorry i don't know the correct terminology but you have the spring thing here and this is really good i've noticed that some push chairs don't have this or some travel systems don't have this but it's best that you kind of look for a travel system that has this just for the um for the fact that you know when you're pushing them on like an uneven surface or a bumpy road they don't really feel it that much because it's kind of like a suspender sort of i don't know what the correct terminology is but it it stops the push there from you know bumping like that um yeah it just makes the whole journey for your little one just so much smoother and they don't feel the bumps and you don't feel the bumps pushing them either because of the suspender on the wheels as you can see the wheels are still in quite good condition for the fact i use it probably every other day um and really you can just wash these wheels if you need to but like i said this is such a good push chair and this can face forward so i'm going to take it off and show you what it looks like facing forward just for you guys to see so this is what it looks like facing forward so yeah it's just literally just facing forward um some people might prefer just to have their child facing forward sometimes whereas right now i prefer for her to be facing me so i can see her at all times because she's still only 11 weeks old gonna be 12 weeks tomorrow but you know they can still sometimes be sick cough up a little milk even when you burp them um you know at the moment she kind of has a runny nose so i like to just keep an eye on her to wipe her nose when i need to but yeah but if you prefer to have them this way that's absolutely fine there is this where when you un 
do it you can actually see inside well you're not actually going to see it now um but you can see inside of the push chair so you can see what your little one is doing whether they're sleeping whether they're laughing playing just looking around and again you can just have the hood down so you can see them while you push them so it's really good i think a lot of travel systems do have this but it's really good that you're able to look at your little one while you're on your adventures um i don't know if you guys remember when i done the unboxing video i was quite i was moaning a lot about the brown handle saying that it didn't really go and i didn't really like it and i was going to order black ones or gray ones or even white ones i've kept the brown ones for the fact that they are so comfortable and at the moment it doesn't even matter about color like you don't really notice the brown because obviously the posture itself is gray and then her changing bag is gray and black so i mean she don't really notice it but i mean there's no problem with it it's super comfortable and like i said you can unzip it from here i'm not gonna unzip the whole thing but you can unzip it and take it off for it to go in the wash if you need to wash it or wipe it off and then you can put it back in so the last thing i'm going to show you guys here is how to change it from the carry cot to the seat units at the moment usually it would be the whole thing is down but because she's 11 weeks old and likes to look around and stuff i have the head bit up already so that it's just easier for her to look around and see what's going on and it's easier for me to see her because she has full control of her head and neck now but when you're ready to change it to the seat unit there's this little clip here once you pull it up you can push it to where you want it so then it changes it to the seat unit and then underneath it has all the clips where it would clip so that this would go in and everything would go in and it would turn into a full seat and if you was to ever want it back down all you have to do is pull it up oh. see i can't do it one handed guys one second so all you'd have to do is just pull it up and then pull it down and then it will go back to the carry cord here is a 360 of what the frame looks like when it has the car seat attached to it so like i said you can still access the basket underneath if you're going shopping or something you want to put stuff on there you can put the changing bag below if you don't want to put it on here and this is what the car seat looks like this is what it looks like when it's unclipped and i'm going to show you what it looks like when it's clipped and here is what it looks like when it's clipped obviously it looks a bit loose but this is how i have it for when Taya's in there because like i said she's not exactly that big so this is the perfect um perfect setting for her so this is what the car seat looks like with it again i have no problems with the car seat this is the newborn insert so we still have it in there she hasn't exactly outgrown it yet so like i said it's just padding for extra comfort and when i when she grows out of the newborn insert we will take this out and then it will just be a car seat on its own that she's using so that she'll have a bit more headspace but this can get taken out to wash so if you ever feel you need to wash it you can these can slide off to wash as well and then obviously these you can just wipe off which i do need to wipe off because i've just noticed there's something there but like I said, I've had no complaints whatsoever with this travel system. I love it so much. And I wasn't originally going to buy this one, but I did. And I'm really happy that I did go with this one and not the other one. Um, it's just a really good travel system. I really like it so much. It's so easy to push. It's so easy to turn. Um, and it's really strong. Like I bought these um, pram hooks so you can turn it around and then clip your shopping onto it. And it's really strong and sturdy because it holds even heavy bags so like i said i'm really happy with this it's strong it's easy to take anywhere it's you know the only problem is getting it on the older buses because the older buses are a bit more narrow so it's harder to push it through the front so you have to go on the back but it's easy to take apart it's easy to put in the car it's easy to fold and unfold and yeah i would show you how to fold it but because it's just me at the moment i can't fold it and film at the same time but um, you can see in my unboxing video how to fold it and unfold it but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already comment down below if you have any more questions about this travel system if there was anything you wanted to know that i didn't include in this clip then please let me know thank you guys have a good day and i'll see you all in my next video bye And just like that, I didn't do an outro either. So, yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Join the family and watch me and my family grow. Don't forget to let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. If there's anything I forgot in this um, 
video about the push journal car seat <laughs> please let me know and i will try to do a separate video or answer your questions in the comments like i have been and yeah i hope you all have a good day and i will see you all in my next video thank you bye say bye bye uh.